Welcome to our election edition of Street Smarts, the show where people try to prove how witty they are by predicting how witless the American people can be. Yeah. Now I hit the campaign trail, plus the flat, pressed the flesh with John and Jane Q. Public, and pulled their Street Smarts by asking basic questions about the country we live in, USA all the way. Yeah. Now we get our players to determine who's fit for office and who's a few planks short of a platform. And speaking of players, let's meet them. Hello, Dale. We got Dale. Hello, Lisa. Looking lovely. Do or die here on Street Smarts. The winner gets all the campaign contributions. The loser heads home feeling like Bob Dole. Oh. Yeah, oh, oh, that's her? All right. Let's meet the three people they'll be making snap judgments about. I began taking care of my constituency's wishes, and Mike gave me three of his. So what do you do for a living? I cook at, out at a, a pretty ritzy golf course in, in Montana. So if you had a genie in a bottle and you had three wishes, what would you wish for? Um, Instinct to be gone, Christina Aguilera to be with me, and a million dollars. What was the first one? Uh, Instinct. Oh, sink. But you take Aguilera. Oh, yeah. She's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and at the cable car terminal in Frisco, Gigi convinced me that divorce is no longer a big issue. How many times have you been married, Gigi? Well, it hasn't hit double digit yet. <laughs> I have got tired of burying them. Can you, can so you, now I'm standing single. Do you have Liz Taylor's record? Could you have more than Liz I Taylor? I beat Liz Taylor. She may have money, but I got the men. If you could have sex with anyone famous, who would it be? Oh, my golly. Harry Belafonte. Oh, Dale. Dale. <laughs> Jennifer reminded me not to overlook the unemployment problem. So Jennifer, what do you do here in San Francisco? Actually, right now I'm unemployed. What a loser. Oh. But no, I just got a job with Oracle software. Okay. So what are you going to do for Oracle? Don't poke me with that. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just... Wish I'd have died for every time I heard that from a lady. What's your favorite book of all time? The Madonna sex book. <laughs> oh, right. The big metal on the copy. I love yeah. that book. It's a good book. It's it good is... reading. <laughs> Curl up with the Madonna sex book and a yeah. good book. Why not? <laughs> It's time to play a little game we like to call Who Knew It? We ask the same question to all three people in the field, and your challenge is to guess who answered the question right. You will lock in your choice, and a correct guess will earn you 100 George Washingtons. Okay, enough of this propaganda. Let's get started. The first question I asked to Mike, Gigi, and Jennifer, what was Washington, D.C. Mayor Marion Barry arrested for in 1990? Flip up your paddles and let me know who knew it, guys. What do you think? Mike, Gigi, or Jennifer knew why Marion Barry was arrested in 1990. Looks like Dale's almost ready. Lisa, okay, you're locked in. We have a Gigi and a Jennifer. Now, Lisa, you think Jennifer's gonna be able to get you 100 bucks here, right? I think she will. She's working, gonna work for a software company. She's okay. got some brains. Let's okay. take a look. What was Washington, D.C. Mayor Marion Barry arrested for in 1990? Drugs in his hotel room. What kind of drugs? Cocaine, I believe. Right. But then he got reelected later on. Well, you know, <laughs> he had a lot of energy. He was like ready to go. <laughs> he was okay. Better. Please vote for me again. Must have one. Vote for me again. That's the right answer. Way to go, Lisa. Jennifer knew that's a hundred bucks for you. Way to go. Now, Dale, you think Gigi's going to come through for you, right? Definitely. Okay, let's take a look. Gigi, what was Washington D.C. Mayor Marion Barry arrested for in 1990? Uh, confrontation with the handsome gentleman. Really? What's, what's Marion Barry look like? Oh, she's a wreck. Right. <laughs> she's such a wreck that she's now a man. She is? <laughs> I'm sorry, Dale, she didn't know. She thought Marion Barry was a woman. No money for you on that first question, don't worry. Okay, here we go. Here's the next question, guys. Deep Throat was a key character in what presidential scandal? Who knew it? What do you think? Mike, Gigi, or Jennifer knew that one? All right, you're locked in. Okay, uh, let's see here. We got a Jennifer and we got a Mike. Now, Dale, we want to try to tie the score up here. You think Jennifer's going to get this, right? Jennifer knows. She, she knows this one? She watched Madonna videos. Okay, all right, all right, let's take a look. <laughs> Deep Throat was a key character in what presidential scandal? The latest one with Monica. <laughs> right, because what a deep throat she... Yeah, deep throat, you know, she liked her cigars, whatever. Oh, no, he liked the cigars, right. that's right. Well, apparently she liked his cigar. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> that's the wrong answer, I'm sorry, Dale, incorrect answer. Now, Lisa, you think Mike knows? I do, I okay. mean, I think he's got some wisdom that he wants to share. I think uh, he's yeah, let's gonna know. Deep throat was a key character in what presidential scandal? Um, Watergate? It was Watergate, there you go. Awesome. I also thought it was a 007 thing, but... <laughs> well, you know, sometimes with the spy stuff, it's yeah. like, you know... 
What's your favorite Bond movie? Actually, I like Austin Powers myself. Okay. Shagging, <laughs> baby. <laughs> you got it right, Lisa. That's another hundred dollars for you. Way to go. You got two hundred dollars. Dale's not happy about that. Don't worry, buddy. We got one more question in this round. Last question. Why didn't Bill Clinton run for re-election this year? Who knew it? What do you think? Do you think it was Mike, Gigi, or Jennifer could come through on that one? Okay, and all right, you're locked in. We have a Gigi and a Jennifer. Now, Dale, you're going with Gigi because the sign matches your pants, or you think she knows it? Uh, I'm going to go with Gigi because she's been around a block. Okay, there you go. Let's take a look. <laughs> Why didn't Bill Clinton run for re-election this year? Oh, my goodness, because I believe we have a law that states uh, now you can only serve so many years as president of the United States. And who, who's but he's one of the best that we have since Roosevelt. There you go, Dale. You got 100 bucks. Way to go. Gigi did come through for you. Now, uh, Lisa, we're going to see what Jennifer had to say. Why didn't Bill Clinton run for re-election this year? He couldn't. What do you mean he couldn't? He was not able to. Because why? He was, he wasn't impeached. He was, was he? No, he, he, he couldn't. I was impeached. Because he was impeached. He can't. I mean, so he couldn't run for a third I'm term. With. He right. couldn't run again. Because he was impeached. Sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a wrong answer. You had, you had Jennifer, Lisa. I'm sorry. She did not know the answer. Sorry about that. All right, let's uh, go ahead and recap our scores. Let's see. Dale, you got 100 bucks. You're off and running. Lisa's got $200. Next, our players will try to figure out who blew it without even peeking at the star report, so stay with us. Welcome back to our special Election Day edition of Street Smarts. Let's meet our players. Now, Dale, uh, I hear you like to get personal while training. Tell us the story. Uh, yeah, well, um, I was training a client, and uh, I had a female audience around, and, you know, I like to show off a little oh, bit. And uh, I silently farted. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> nice. And you know how those quiet ones can yeah, be. Yeah, very deadly. nice. Yeah. All right, Dale. Thank you very much for being here. Now, Lisa, I think Lisa, uh, I heard you like you've learned to look twice before you dry your hands. Why it's is that? True, Frank. I went to one of those lovely, classy fraternity parties, oh, yeah. and uh, you know, I was go looking around for something to dry my hands on. Before I knew it, I had dried my hands, but unfortunately, it was on some frat boy's underwear. Oh, oh nice. Oh. And the ironic thing is, the, the underwear she was using were Dale's from the gym. Ah, yeah. <laughs> All right, hide the interns. It's time to enter our next round. Who blew it? This time we ask the same question. Only two of our crosswalk candidates. One answered right, one answered wrong. Each time Dale or Lisa correctly identifies which candidate blew the question, they get 200 bucks. That will buy a lot of votes. And in this round, you can earn an extra $200 by using the dunce cap sitting in front of you. Here's how it works. When you hear a question you think your opponent doesn't have the brain cells to answer, bang the buzzer on your chair and dunce them. If they cannot answer the question, you get $200. And remember, there's only one dunce in the round, so use it wisely. Here's the first question I asked both Mike and Gigi. After donating over $300,000, Steven Spielberg got to stay in whose White House bedroom? <laughs> oh my god! That, you've been dunced, Lisa, by the elephant's noise. All right, if you cannot answer this correctly, Dale gets the $200, but if you do answer correctly, you get the $200, and he's gonna sport the cap. I'm gonna read the question, you got five seconds. After donating over $300,000, Steven Spielberg got to stay in whose White House bedroom? Would that be President Clinton? That is an incorrect answer, I'm sorry, Lisa. Dale gets the dunce money, $200 for Dale. Nice job, buddy. Takes the lead with that, very nice dunting. Okay, who blew it, guys? Now flip your paddles up and tell me, who do you think blew it, Mike or Gigi? Could not answer that question. Okay, you're locked in. We got a Mike and a Gigi. Uh, let's see, Dale, you think Mike blew this one? I think Mike blew it. Okay, let's see if we can extend your lead. After donating over $300,000, Steven Spielberg got to stay in whose White House bedroom? Um, I'll have to say Abraham Lincoln. That is correct. Nice. We're going to stay in the Lincoln bedroom. Uh, if you stay in the Lincoln bedroom for a night, what would you do in there? Uh, shag. <laughs> <laughs> He did not blow it. I'm sorry. Uh, Lisa, looks like uh, Gigi's the one who blew it. Let's watch. After donating over $300,000, Steven Spielberg got to stay in whose White House bedroom? Uh, I think it was the uh, Ro Roosevelt uh, bedroom. Roosevelt bedroom? Yeah. <laughs> she blew it. Way to go, Lisa. 200 bucks for you. You go back into the lead. Nice job. 400 to $300. Got a good game going here. All right, here's the next question, guys. I asked to Mike and to Jennifer. <laughs> oh, hello, Jennifer. Okay, uh, who pardoned Nixon in 1974? Who blew it? Do you think it was Mike or Jennifer that blew that one, guys? All uh, right. 
Okay, well, you're both locked in. You both think Jennifer's the one who blew this. Delisa, you think she, th she blew it? She's come through for me in the past, but this one, I kind of think she's going to okay, go the other way. Okay, let's see. 200 so. bucks for each of you if you're Who pardoned Nixon in 1974? <laughs> I don't know his predecessor, but I'm going to say it's, um... Oh, um... I guess Gerald Ford was way after that, huh? Gerald Ford? I don't know. So who Gerald, do you want to go with? I'm going to say Gerald Ford. That's right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She got it right. I'm sorry, guys. Last question in the round. Uh, this question was to Gigi and to Jennifer. It's the ladies. What animal represents the Democratic Party? Who blew it? What do you think? One of them did. Do you think it was Gigi or Jennifer? OK, and we're locked in. Oh, boy, you guys split the vote. Very nice. Uh, Lisa, you're going with Gigi. You think she blew it? I think she did. She hasn't really had many questions right today. So OK, all right, let's take a look. What animal represents the Democratic Party? <laughs> uh, uh. What animal is that? A donkey. Also known as a? A Jenny. Or a? Ass. Well, you just say ass. I mean, no questions. I just want you to say ass on national TV. You just said ass. Well, that, that you, it's in the dictionary for crying in the sink. Uh, I'm sorry, Lisa. Gigi did not blow it. It looks like Jennifer's the one who blew it for Dale. Let's take a look. What animal represents the Democratic Party? Oh, uh, that would have to be the... Is it a lion? It's a lion? Because <laughs> they're lions. They're coming out. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's just shot in the dark. <laughs> it really is. Actually, you know what it is? Donkey. No, it isn't. It's a donkey. It's, we, it's an we're, ass. We're jackasses. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer blew it for you, Dale. There you go. 200 bucks for you. Nice way. Way to go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, now listen, Lisa, let's see what you got here. You got 400 bucks after round two. Dale's got $500. Way to go, Dale. Nice comeback. Now that our players think they've seen how the candidates stack up, we'll see who they pick as running mates when we return. and weigh the issues because it's time to pick your candidate. This time, Dale and Lisa will step into the voting booth and choose one of the three cocksure candidates for the entire round and try to guess how they'll answer three questions. A correct prediction is worth 300 bucks. Yeah. And the test for metal, we're going to leave the dunce cap in this round, only this time it's worth 300 bucks. Remember, there's only one dunce remaining in the game. The player who is trailing chooses first. That's Lisa. So who are you going to choose as your running mate? I'm going to go with Gigi. You're going to go with Gigi. Very nice. Dale, what about you? I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to stick with the blonde. I'm You're going to go with Jennifer. Jennifer. All right. Yeah. Okay, Lisa, our first question to Gigi was, in our presidential election, Canada counts for what percent of the vote? Did, oh, my God, Dale, you've been done. 300 bucks on the line. You can't answer this. She gets the money. I'm going to read the question again. you got five seconds. In our presidential election, Canada counts for what percent of the vote? Five percent. That's an incorrect answer. I'm sorry, Dale. Three hundred dollars goes to Lisa on the dunce. Very nice job, Lisa. Okay, she now has seven hundred dollars. Okay, so Gigi, what do you think? Or Lisa, what do you think? Gigi got it right or wrong? I'm gonna go with right. You think, I think she got she's it right? Known these political things in the past, she's gonna know. Okay, let's take a look. In our presidential election, Canada counts for what percent of the vote? Canada? Yeah. Now you know damn well that Canada is not America. It's not? No, you better go back to school. Way to go, you got it right, you got it right. Three hundred more dollars for you there, uh, Jennifer. Uh, or Lisa, I'm sorry. Dale, here's your first question from Jennifer. I showed Jennifer this card and asked her to pronounce this word correctly since George W. Bush could not. So do you think she was able to do that? Yes or no, right or wrong? What do you think, Dale? You think she couldn't? No. Think strong. All right, I let's take a look won't. at the clip. George W. Bush couldn't pronounce this word correctly. Can you? Subliminal? No, do you yeah. know what this word means? Kind of like underlying. Right, it's like, I mean, the right. Eye, like. So anyway, will you make out with me? Anyway, do you know what this means? <laughs> <laughs> she got it right. I'm sorry, Dale. No, no money for you on that one. Sorry about that. All right, Lisa, next question to Gigi. What American statesman is pictured on a bottle of Samuel Adams beer? Do you think she got that right or wrong? You got a nice lead going here, Lisa. I'm going to say wrong, although she might have some hidden knowledge we don't know about. I'm okay. still going to stick All with All right, her let's wrong. take a look. What American statesman is pictured on a bottle of Samuel Adams beer? Uh, gee, Hickory. Hickory is? Hickory. <laughs> Way to go. You predicted it wrong. She got it wrong. Nice job, Lisa. Takes up the 13 hours. Uh, the correct answer is Samuel Adams is on a bottle. Samuel Adams here. Okay, Dale, next question to Jennifer. You can need the 300 bucks here, buddy. 
At the 2000 Democratic Convention, who made news by planting a big open mouth kiss on Tipper Gore? All right, do you think Jennifer got that right or wrong? I'm gonna yeah. rub, rub Abe's head. A little luck? All right. You think she Whoa. got it wrong? Okay, let's take a look. At the 2000 Democratic Convention, who made news by planting a big open mouth kiss on Tipper Gore? Oh, Al. Yeah. What did you think of that? that was pretty intense, Marino <laughs> politics. No, see, we wanted to show a clip of that right now, but we couldn't get the right, so I, I have to reenact it with you. Oh, really? So here I come up, I'm like, oh, honey, I got the nomination. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dale, she got it right. I'm sorry, buddy. Abe didn't help out on that. All right, next, next question for, for, for Lisa to Gigi. In the nation's capital, Washington, D.C., what does the D.C. stand for? Do you think she got that right or wrong? You can open up a nice lead here. Uh, I'm going to say right. She got it I right? I think she's going to know. All right, let's take a look. In the nation's capital, Washington, D.C., what does the D.C. stand for? Duck the cleavage. Duck the cleavage? <laughs> It's Washington, duck the cleavage. No, it's uh, uh, the true D.C. is District of Columbia. Yeah. Although a lot of the senators there would probably like to see the cleavage. Oh, sure, sure. That's what it's all about. We scared you for a second, Lisa. She did get it right. Nice job. Another $300 for you. All right, Dale, you need this one. This is uh, the last question for you and the last question of the round. Four, okay, here's the question I asked Jennifer. Four people voted for Rich. Three people voted for Kelly. What nationally televised event am I talking about? Do you think Jennifer got this right or wrong? What do you think, Dale? I'm gonna say wrong. She got it wrong? All right. Four people voted for Rich, mm -hmm. three people voted for Kelly. Mm -hmm. What nationally televised event am I talking about? Democratic convention? Democratic convention? Sure. You know what it is? No, what is it? Survivor. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> nice prediction, Dale. She got it wrong. The Survivor. Big Survivor finale. Let's recap the scores. You needed that 300 bucks still because you now have $800. Very nice. But Lisa's got double that, $1,600. Wow. When we return, Dale and Lisa will be making a final prediction on a question I asked Mike, Gigi, and Jennifer. They'll each choose one of these political pundits, predict whether they'll get it right or wrong, and make their last wager. Here's the question I asked all three. If the Democrats win the election, what title will Tipper Gore hold? Don't go away because the only thing scarier than a Linda Tripp lookalike contest is... The Wager of Death. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. Titan Security, someone's taking a bullet as we enter our final round, The Wager of Death. Dale and Lisa, here's the scoop. During the break, each of you secretly chose one of the three roadside radicals, secretly made a prediction as to whether they were right or wrong, and secretly wagered an amount of money not to exceed the total you now have. Recapping scores, Dale, you got 800 bucks. Lisa's got double that $1,600. Now remember, only one of you will be walking away with the cash, which means everything rides on your final vote. And here's a question I asked all three. If the Democrats win the election, what title will Tipper Gore hold? Okay, let's get your choices. Dale, what about you? You're trailing, but uh, you're still in this. Who do you want to see? You're going to go with... Gigi, very nice, Lisa, you got the lead. You're in the driver's seat, who do you want to see? I'm sticking with Gigi. Oh, you want to see Gigi also? All right, nobody picked Mike or Jennifer, so we're gonna say bye to them. Now, all the money rides on this, guys. This is big, let's take a look at Gigi's clip. If the Democrats win the election, what title will Tipper Gore hold? Tipper Gore? Well, I imagine he'll have the same title as everybody else, Commander-in-Chief and uh, President of the United States of America. Okay, Gigi got it wrong. It's First Lady. I think uh, she was confused there. Now, Dale, you had Gigi. You're trailing right now. Did you say she would get it right or wrong? Dale said she would get it right. Oh, no, how much is that going to cost you if you 800 bucks, Dale? Let me see how much you wagered. How much he wagered? 700. All right, you got 100 bucks. Dale, you're still on this. Now, Lisa... It's all up to you right now. You had Gigi also. You had a nice lead, $1,600. What did you say Gigi would do, right or wrong? I you said, said she'd get it right also. Oh, my God. If you wagered more than $1,500, you lose. How much did you wager? She wagered $600. Takes it down to $1,000. She 